Hi, I'm Randy Thompson from the Environmental Division at APHIS Headquarters. The video you are about to see focuses on one of the most important components of your underground storage tank system, namely the leak detection system. This is an instructional video on the most common system we currently operate, the VitaRoot TLS 350, as well as the recently developed TLS 450 being installed at all new fueling facilities. You will learn how to use the main components of each panel, obtain and interpret various reports, and understand specific alarms. The more you know about your leak detection system, the better off you will be when it comes to regulatory compliance and avoiding NOVs. If you have problems or questions concerning your specific leak detection system, please contact your local petroleum equipment contractor. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Mike Thornton and I'm with VitaRoot. Today I'll be discussing the use and operation of the TLS 450 automatic tank gauge system. The console front panel has three main components, the printer, the touchscreen, and the status LEDs. The LEDs will indicate the current status of the system. Green indicates the system has power. Yellow indicates that there's an active warning on the system and red indicates that there's an active alarm. We will spend most of our time looking at the touch screen. This is the home screen of the touch screen panel. Let me go over a brief description of what each icon does and what it means. First you will note the date and time in the upper left corner. This is a read only area. I'll show you how to change the date and time a little bit later. The top row of icons consists of the alarm which looks like a bell. Touch it once to display an active alarm report. Touch it a second time to silence the alarm beeper. The area next to the alarm is the system status window. If you have multiple alarms, they will be displayed in this area and scroll sequentially through the list. The question mark is the help icon. Pressing this icon opens online help pages for the current screen you are viewing. The print button prints out reports that are currently viewed on the screen. Next to it is a line feed button which will advance the printer paper several times when pressed. The house icon is the home icon and when pushed will take you to the home screen which is the screen we are viewing now. The last item on the top row is a backup arrow which is used to back up to the prior screen when pressed. The icons down the right column include the setup icon, a diagnostics icon which displays diagnostics or setup screens, and the shift icon, is, when pressed, will allow you to close a current shift for one or all tanks. And then a little bit further down, you have scroll up and scroll down arrows, as well as scroll right and left arrows along the bottom. Next to the bottom is the BIR report icon, which accesses reconciliation report screens if the system is so equipped, as well as icons for the environment, delivery, and inventory reports, which are used to access those respective reports. In the middle is the data view area, and above that you'll see a row of tabs. You can press the respective tabs to access tanks or sensor screens. Now let's take a look at accessing reports. To access any report, whether it's an inventory report, delivery, or environmental, or a BIR report if the system is so equipped, press the icon associated with that type of report you need, and then press the tabs until you toggle through and find the correct information. In this example, I will show you how to access environmental reports. From the home screen, touch the environment icon. The environment reports will be displayed. Note that you have tanks 1, 2, and 3 shown. Tank 1 is currently displayed. In addition, the upper tabs will show you combined tank tests, line leak tests, sensor status, and sensor history. To access any of those reports, simply touch the tab. A sensor history tab will show the history of the alarms for the sensors attached to the system. This history will go back as much as three years. If you desire a printed copy, simply press the print icon and the report will be printed. When you're finished with this screen, press the home key to return the system to its original home state. To access an active alarm report, First, from the main home screen, press the alarm icon. This will display any active alarms. In this example, the field is cleared, which indicates there are no active alarms on this system. To view the alarm history, 
you press the History tab and the system's history will be displayed. If you desire to know the difference between priority or non-priority alarms, you have tabs for both those conditions. If you need to silence the console beeper or acknowledge an alarm, follow these steps. Touch the alarm button and the active alarm report displays. Read the report then touch the alarm button a second time to silence the beeper and that will acknowledge the alarm. If you'd like to learn more about an alarm and what to do about them, you can use the help mode icon. First press the alarm icon and then the help mode icon. After touching the help mode, the alarms separate in the report. Touching anywhere in the desired alarms row displays an alarm help screen in which its cause and suggested corrective actions are shown. To display the in-tank warning and alarm limits for a specific tank, simply press a tank. The first screen will show the individual tank and its program status. Pressing the limits button will then display the alarm limits that the system is programmed for. You can select a tank by pressing the next tank at the bottom of the screen. To return to the home screen, simply press the home icon. The COCLD test results report will show the report and the results of the 0.2 gallon per hour leak tests for the tank. It will show the tank, its product, the time and date that the test was passed. If the system has indicated a line leak alarm, silence the alarm as previously discussed. To clear the alarm and return the line to activity, you must start a line test. You will press the diagnostics icon and then press the PLLD icon. Select the type of test to be run, generally a 3.0 gallon per hour, and press start. Make sure no customers are pumping fuel at this time or the test will be aborted, requiring the test to be repeated. So the steps are home screen, diagnostics, and then the PLLD icon. Choose manual test and start. Use the drop down area to select which test you'd like to run and then select the line and press start. The pressure line leak test report will show the results of the line tests. These tests will be reported as the number of passing tests in the last 24 hour period and the number of passing tests since midnight of the current day. This is for a 3 GPH test. If the system is also performing 0.2 or 0.1 gallon per hour tests, it will show the first passing test for a 0.2 test for each month in record and the last passing test for a 0.1, generally no more than six months in age. The liquid status report will show the status of the interstitial or sump sensors attached to the system. This report will show the status of the sensor at the time the report was generated. To set the date and time on the TLS 450, from the home screen, press the tools icon. Then select the date and time button. Select the date and time set, then use the close button and the drop down areas to choose the time needed. And press the check mark when correct. Next, press the calendar icon and use the drop downs to choose the year, month, and date, and press the check mark button. The printer paper should be changed when a red stripe appears on the printouts. A four roll pack of printer paper is available from your service contractor or local distributor. Swing down the print cover and push the paper feed release lever down. Remove the old paper and discard. Unfasten the end of a fresh roll of paper and insert it into the paper tray with the end of the paper tail facing you from the bottom of the roll. Pull the tab out, up, and over the new roll and push the tail back under the black paper feed roller until it exits above the feed roller. Be sure and push the lever up and then touch the line feed button to advance the paper a few lines. Verify the paper is feeding correctly. You can then close the printer cover. That concludes our training of the VitaRoot TLS 450 automatic tank gauge system. 
please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.